All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Undisputed. And there's been uh, another update for the game as of today, the 28th of February, as I'm recording this. Uh, I'll just flash it up on screen now on the Steam page. Uh, game update, 28th of February. Uh, updates for the Undisputed on the 28th, 2003. Hey, fight fans, this is our first concept update in line with our roadmap and includes three new fighters, new venues, and more. While this update has been in progress for some time and is content fo it's a content-focused update, there are a few areas we know players are most concerned about, which we'd like to address here. So cheaters, so this has been a big one for the online players. Uh, this is one of the top issues in the game right now for online players. We know it's incredibly frustrating to run into cheaters in an online match. And with this update, we're taking action against a number of players who have been hurting the online experience for everyone else. These bans are a first step towards a larger initiative to ensure fair play online. We're continuing to work towards improved cheat detection and we'll de deploy additional updates over time. So they're already get clamping down on this. If you're into the online thing, it looks like they're already taking steps. You'll never fully stop this, if you'd ask me, but at least they're, at least they're making efforts to do it. In the meantime, please continue to use the report player functionality in the game, which is available in the menu at the end of a fight. And if you have a video, you can link uh, link a YouTube video in the report too. Cheating is never something that will be okay, and your reports have been helpful to us in making this first wave of bans. All right, well, at least they're trying. Online stability, we've also been monitoring the online feedback you've been giving us related to the disconnections and surrenders that are happening. Fight desync and some matchmaking issues as well. These are complicated issues that require time and testing, and while today's update doesn't address these things, work on these issues is ongoing, and we're committed to getting them right because we recognise how important these issues are. How important these issues are, excuse me. We know it can be rough playing against these things, so we really appreciate you sticking by us and giving us so much great feedback to help improve the game. Below are the patch notes for the update shipped on the 28th of Feb, 2023 so new boxes added to the game now i'm a casual boxing fan so i'll hold my hands up i don't really know these lads but some of you probably will lee mcgregor added to the game mcgregor joins the bantamweight division check out his roster profile robin reed added to the game reed joins the middleweight division and sergio martinez added to the game martinez also oh the, the middleweight and welterweight divisions so what i'll probably do i'll do a showcase video for for these three separately so they've all got their own video so stay tuned for that if you, if you want want to check that out new venues added the grand theater will you earn the right to a curtain call in this old school theater add a technical gym hit the ring and look good doing it under the colored neon lights from which the venue gets its name added a nighttime version of the existing coldwell venue coldwell gym venue and a daytime version of the existing empire pro venue I'll probably do separate videos on these along with the fighters as well. Gameplay changes. We've updated the inside fighting with a new push animation and improved responsiveness. A new push animation? All right. Made further tweaks. Actually, st st stand by with this because as I've just loaded this update up, it says they put out a patch and I'm sure it says it's, it's removed this already. But we'll, we'll check that out in a sec. Made further tweaks to judge pre uh, preferences in an effort to produce fairer fight results. Oh, judge preferences, as in fight judges. Excuse me, I've read that wrong. Made further tweaks to judge preferences. In it. Okay, that's it. General changes. The fighter's team can now be seen walking with the fighter during the ring walk. Oh, okay, that's a nice little addition. So the fighter's not just walking out on his fucking Jack, his or her Jack Jones now. They've got the team walking down with them, which is a nice little addition. Uh, introduced motion blur settings. In, uh, nice little addition again, because the motion blur doesn't make this game look very good. So hopefully, hopefully it'll look a lot cleaner. Bug fixes. Fix the bug causing players to see their level as between 0 and 1 on the reward screen, reward screen, regardless of their actual level after a ranked match. Fixed an issue that caused the game to apply the wrong resolution when first launched. Fixed an issue caused causing fighter models to fail to load in the fighter select menu if a player returns to the fighter select midway through a match. Fixed an issue where the in-game pause menu would remain faintly visible after a player had navigated to other menus. All right, so let's just check out the, there we go, the hotfix. Hey, fight fans below the patch notes for the update. Hotfix shipped on the 28th of Feb. This is focused on fixing some issues that players have noticed in today's build. 
fixed an issue where players using Sergio Martinez are sometimes experienced in their game controls locking up mid-fight. Fucking hell, that's not good. Well, at least they've addressed it already. Uh, disabled stance switching and and push in online play. So this was on about just before. They they enabled the push and then they disabled it. These were mistakenly pushed live with today's build and are not yet ready for online players. They're still in a work in progress. So they, they've done that accidentally. They released the push and I guess they didn't mean to, so they took it back out. So that was... So the, the initial update was done eight hours ago as of reading this and then two two hours ago was the hot fix. All right, so uh, I'm going to cut to the game now and we'll check out some of these or one of these new fighters and one of the new venues. So I'll see you in a sec. All right, so here we are at the game. Let's see, where is he? There he is, 79 for Lee McGregor. Who else have we got that can we... Actually, we'll pick him first and check out his... Uh, his stats. Well, I'll, you can pause this and look at it at your own leisure if you're into all this stuff. This is overall stats, if you want to pause that. There's his traits. Uh, body work and increased damage of punches thrown by 15%. Liver destroyer. I like that. Increased damage of left hook punches thrown to the body by 30%. There's the rest of the info. Alright, I'll pick him. Get rid of that. There he is. So who's a similar... Scott Quigg, Kid Galahad, oh, we'll go 79, 79, makes sense doesn't it, let's check out one of these new venues, oh I, by the way I have just been into the options menu and I've turned off all of the, um, oh there's that daytime version that looks pretty nice, I've turned off all of the motion blur so we should see, let's see if we can uh, see a visible difference. Um, undisputed difficulty, simulation as always, we'll leave the, the sliders as default. Let's see what uh, Lee McGregor's like. Shut your fucking mouth! So yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll showcase the other two lads in their own video. What was it, Sergio Martinez? Fans, I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome inside the Grand and I've fucking beer. forgotten the other lad's name already. Former world champion Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these? I should have turned the commentary off. I fucking can't stand this commentary. So let's see. We should see the. Yeah, I was just going to say we should get the cornerman and the the team coming down now. So it looks a little bit better. Commonwealth title in 2018. He fights out of Edinburgh, Scotland. I'll just let this play out, this is the first time seeing it. I feel like it, lo it does look a lot cleaner without the motion blur, but we'll have to... We'll, we'll tell properly well the fight's in motion. I mean, I don't know why this wasn't an option included right off the bat. I mean, why anyone wants to play with motion blur on, I'll never know. Whenever, whenever I come across it in a game, it just gets turned off immediately. Well, the table is set. It's time to eat. Here we go. Now it looks a bit better with the, with the cornerman. Fighting out of the red corner from Edinburgh, Scotland. Introducing the popular British and Commonwealth title holder. Introducing Lightning, Lee McGregor. Fighting out of the blue corner. Fighting out of Sheffield, England. Here is so I know they said they added the push and they took it out, but in the same sentence where they said they added the push, they said they updated the responsiveness, so... I don't know if that just means in general of like the of the punches. We'll we'll see. I'll see if there's any any noticeable differences in the gameplay. Just a bit of a bit of a vague description there. Just said the update of the responsiveness. So that's all that they said. So we'll see if there's anything noticeably different in the actual gameplay. I feel like the game does look a lot cleaner without that motion blur. I like it. Oh, big counter right hook over the top there. So we'll try and get those liver shots in if we haven't got it. A trait bonus on the left up to the body. Oh, that right hook, counter right hook over the top from the AI. Oh, and that left hook connected. 
This is the new venue, the Grand Theatre venue. It's like a, a smaller one, I guess. Not like one of the, the bigger venues, but looks all right. I, I don't mind the lighting. Show business, and this is the most unique play anyone will ever see in this theatre. Mano a mano. For a fighter walking into a theatre, I think this is the closest thing to... There's the push there. I, I think they disabled it uh, offline, so... As in the single player, it's still functional. I don't actually know how to do it. How do you do it? I'm just going to press some buttons and see what happens. Oh, nice uppercut there. Yeah, how do you actually do the push? Is it two buttons at the same time? I'm sure I'll figure it out. Tell he's stronger, but he's not getting a bit of, bit of slow down on my laptop. My laptop's like fucking barely holding together running this game. Quick punch scores. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Definitely prefer it without the motion blur, I'll tell you that. So everything just looks nice and clean and sharp. Oh, big counter left up there off that pull. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. How does will hit anything and everything? Your head, your ear, your elbow, your rib, your belly button. They are an absolute terror. And wait a minute. A left hand lands. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. These two fighters are made for one another. Oh, stiff counter jab. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think I concentrate. Hit him with a left jab. Oh, big right hook there as I stepped in. My fight is frozen. <laughs> I can't do anything at the end of the round anyway. Oh, what the fuck happened there? I guess that's a knockdown, eh? Oh, God, this save. Uh... <laughs> Didn't see that fix in the patch notes. Might want to get that in the hot fix, undisputed. Steel City. The fighter froze up on the knockdown. You might want to get that fixed. There's the bell for round three. We actually get a knockdown. We got knocked down without actually physically being knocked down. Insane action. Maybe it was a, maybe it was a standing eight count. Maybe it was one of them. Both men step back for just a moment. It wasn't. Oh, big left hook as a step in. Oh, stiff jab as I entered there. The 
through the hook, didn't land. Oh, big left hook as well. Yeah, getting tagged. You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think of You've just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fader to pickpocket them. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Oh, another hard right. God, this lad's got power. This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. So important. The referee's got to do it. Back at it in round four. It's hit me twice with the with the right. Gotta be careful stepping in like that. It's so obvious. Oh, the left uppercut landed. Oh, big power left off as I came in to go for the body there. This is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. They've got to relax. from both men in this round. He takes that jab. He missed with that jab. Oh, both went for the upper course is, is got there before mine. Boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows that they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And they forget. You can bang too. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? It's... Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? I wonder when they're actually going to address things like... Like when your fighter's got no stamina, it actually impacts your, your movements. Because that's not an issue yet. It's like you can just move at your normal speed, even when you've got fuck-all stamina. And that needs to be addressed, if you ask me. But I'm sure they've given the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure they'll address it down the line. Well, they have to, really, because if they don't, it's a fucking terrible mistake if they don't. This is that jab. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh. And he misses with that jab. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. Oh, the hard body shot. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear just trying on. to stay on the outside, just trying to bait these attacks out of him and just popping in like that with the jab. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be. Have you this round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. I don't 
know which fighter is winning this bout. So important, the referee's got to do his fight right. Come on, stab at him. Fucking 31%. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? See, in theory, like a well-placed body shot there with low stamina should put him on a fucking onto, on one knee. But as it is at the moment, it's 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 a non-issue in the game. It's not even a thing. Oh, there's that right hook again. I went for the power straight. My left hook just didn't want to land there. Not seeing anything in terms of up responsiveness, I must say. It still plays exactly like it was before. Some shots not, not landing. I'm not noticing any difference, to be honest with you. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. <laughs> he caught him with a left hook. That's a scoring left hand. about a fighter having power don't just look at the head punches they throw look at the body shots that could be the real difference. despite what the judges scorecards read there are no losers in this one I'll call with a few counters here in this one feels slow this lad I must admit for a banter way to feel slow I know his stats are 79, but I'm just noticing his punches are not coming out all that snappy. Oh, that left hook hurt him. Oh, came in for the right straight to the body, got countered. That left scores. Feels slow as shit now, this jab. No way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Get Gonna get knocked out in a minute. I feel it. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They have no respect for each other's punching power. is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It could all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower? Calm, because if you panic... Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's count it again from the AI. winning this fight right now I have no idea it's too hard to split he's going to be the first one to get buzzed can't hit the lad oh they score again with the left hand oh big left off there as I came in Went for the body there, right straight to the body, got caught with the left hook. He 
both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Todd, we know one of these fights can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. <laughs> Endurance is becoming a factor. Oh, big left off. This fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Skipping around with fucking 16% stamina. Sure, what? why not? Fucking doing Ali shuffles with no fucking stamina. Is there any point in me going for the body? I don't think there is at this stage. Fucking counter liver shot. He just looked at me like a fly landed on his. He's like, huh? This sort of just happened. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. No rest for the weary. And he fails to score with that left hook. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Trying to hit him. Could not be any closer. Just not uh, not getting any get like significant damage in on him. Nice lead hook. And he just missed with that left jab. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. It's the one who draws first blood talk. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Changes from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. No rest for the weary. This 
fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them nonstop. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick in, because you've got to get some before you get in close. Oh, nice left uppercut there. Still up for grabs with just 10 I felt like I was a bit rocked there. I couldn't move. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. That was super tight. He will be buzzed first. Right hook won't score. Just missed with that hook. Power right straight landed. <laughs> what couldn't do not? Oh, there's a left hook that connects. Couple of hard body shots. About fucking time we actually rocked him at least. Fucking hit him with enough counter shots. Oh, left up counter there. Go back to the body again. Oh, look at him fucking throwing a tantrum on the floor. Just fine going for the body when the AI is in a rock state like that. Leads to more knockdowns than going to the head. They, they tend to cover up too perfectly. Like, they have like a perfect, like, matrix defense. And they, they can block almost any flurry you throw at them. But some, most of the time, going to the body, you'll get through. Oh, big exchange there. Gonna run out of time, not gonna be able to get another knockdown. Last round. See if we can get one more knocked out. Oh, nice uppercut there off the block counter. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Oh, nice up. Of course, as I stepped in there. He left his chin exposed and he got caught. Can't find a home with that jab. Exchanges from both men in this round. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. Oh, so tries to get him with the pull like counter. Absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? what the judges scorecards read there are no losers oh big right and over the top from the AI should be a decision another decision well it's 
Go back to the drawing board time. A unanimous decision victory. They've done it before. Now they're doing it again. Well, oh, McGregor gets his unanimous decision. What gets his undisputed what debut with it on. With a decision against the AI, not too bad. He felt slow though, I must admit. Some of his strikes were coming out slow, but... There he is, Lee McGregor, making his undisputed debut. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. I'm going to leave it there. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.